With today's technology, doctors can actually see whether you have a beautiful heart. Echocardiogram is just the ultrasound, the sonogram applied to the heart. Heart screenings have really improved over the last few decades. Well, traditionally, we've had electrocardiograms to look at the heart rhythm and to see if there's uh, any type of ischemia or uh, irregular heart rhythm. Uh, ultrasound has come along and then it's evolved from uh, a traditional M mode up to two-dimensional and now of course the three-dimensional echo that we have here. This new imaging not only cuts down on the guesswork with diagnosis, but it's easier on the patient. It's sort of like holding the heart in your hands because we're able to really dissect and be the uh, um, uh, explorer of each of the valves and the chambers and things. It's a bedside test with no IV. Uh, no contrast, um, and it's uh, a very non-invasive test that gives us lots of data about structure, about function, uh, about heart valves, uh, and the overall well-being of the heart and the patient. The echocardiogram gives doctors a perfect picture of the condition of the heart, and when it comes to a weak heart, doctors can see all of the possible problems. Uh, the heart looks enlarged and big, and it's just not squeezing well. It's a very, um, you know, as opposed to a very dynamic uh, pump that we can look at, you're just seeing a big heart just sort of sitting there and quivering. There are basically two standard types of echocardiograms. The TTE or transthoracic echo is the traditional. The probe on the chest would take images of the heart through the chest wall, through the, the, through the uh, lungs um, and adipose tissue. Uh, for the most part, we can get adequate images in about 85 to 90 percent of the people. Uh, but in some folks that are a little thicker or like their marbles a little too well, it's difficult to see through. A transesophageal echo is like looking in the stomach for ulcers with a probe, yet we're looking at the heart. We're looking at the uh, actual images of the heart. Doctors also use these so-called heart sonograms to help guide them during surgery. But in the past, the two-dimensional version has limited their vision to only 10% of the heart. Now the 3D echocardiogram is pinpointing any heart troubles that could have been missed before. This allows us to see if it's a pump problem, if it's a relaxation problem, is it a leaky valve problem. So it's enabling us to choose the right treatment to make these patients better. Being able to really see that valve in great depth, in great detail, short of cutting the patient open, um, the three-dimensional echo allows us to take that view and when we have the data, we can manipulate it to look at it uh, on FOSS, look at it from below, above. So it's really, we sort of get to be the Michelangelo of, uh, of the heart and sculpt what we need to look at. Dr. Graves has been using 3D echocardiograms for seven years now to literally save lives. I think three-dimensional echo uh, gives us better images, it's accessible technology, and it gives greater care.